Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. Today we are going to do something that you probably need to do because I've needed to do it for a while. We're going to clean our sewing machines and I'm sure each model is going to be a little bit different but hopefully this will at least help you um, with some of the basics of cleaning your machine. And I use just a little paintbrush. Some of the machines will come with a certain little brush that you can use. I have some little cotton pads with a little bit of alcohol just to clean like mostly the outside. Tweezers are helpful to grab anything that's really deep in there. And then I actually have this little mini um, little like vacuum cleaner. Obviously this is not necessary, but it is going to be nice to get anything that's deep down there. And this is so cute, right? Um, okay, so we are going to get started. Now my machine came with this little um, tool here to get the screws off, but if you don't have one, I'm sure you can probably find something to help you with that. And I'm just going to start out by taking off my bobbin topper here. Take out the actual bobbin and then my machine just has these little tabs that kind of hold this in place and oh boy I am going to zoom you in here in just a moment because it's awful I've been sewing a ton of bohemian things and I just knew it was destroying my machine I'm just taking the thread out because I just want everything out of the way here and then we can go ahead now and this is a little tricky, so just have to work with this to get the screws out here. Once you get it loosened up, you can kind of just use your hands to get it out, but it's just a little tricky area to reach into. So I'm going to grab the other one off and then we can take this whole metal plate off. So I wanted to zoom you, zoom you in. I do have to go ahead and take the foot off uh, to make it easier to get into this metal plate. So there was just a little release button on the back of mine and I just went ahead and took that off. And I'm still working on getting this last screw off. And you want to make sure not to lose these screws because you will need that to put this back on. So I keep this part pretty simple and I am just going to start grabbing it. Oh my gosh, this is awful. Any of like the larger pieces because I do find that they will fall down there if you're not too careful. I just remembered I forgot to actually take the metal piece off that I struggled so hard to get off. There we go. So now that we have that off, now you can really get in there. And you can use your brush, you can use, you know, like I said, the tweezers are good for getting big pieces off. I just want to start by getting, oh boy, the really big pieces out of here first. The tweezers are really good for just getting down in there and getting anything. And then we can also use... Obviously, I have the little vacuum cleaner. Not everyone has that, so I just wanted to kind of show you without. And this little vacuum cleaner actually has like a little longer attachment. I don't know if they sell these on Amazon. I will look. I got mine at Craft Warehouse. But it also comes with a brush attachment too, so this will be loud, but I'm going to try to get in here real quick. So if you have a long handled paintbrush, you can also get really deep down in there and it will kind of attach onto the big fuzz pieces because I'm sure I'm not the only one that doesn't do this as regularly as I should. And I'm just gonna go kind of back and forth between using the brush. Oh my gosh, you guys. Now, I don't really use the um, rubbing alcohol on any of the inside parts, um, and I don't oil my machine regularly either, but 
if that's something you want to do, you could do that while you are cleaning this out. I don't think mine needs it anyways, but well, so just get in there and, you know, get all of the excess ickiness off. But like I said, the um, alcohol, I just kind of use on the outside parts to get any grime off of there. gonna continue on. This is gonna take a little bit of time here to get all the ickiness out of here. So I'll just continue getting all of the stuff from the inside and then I'll kind of show you how I put everything back together and finish it all off. <laughs> this is definitely really satisfying. I almost forgot that you can go ahead and take your bobbin Holder out as well and that at least in my model it just comes right out I try not to take things too apart because I just don't want to mess anything up but in here is a great spot to go ahead and get lots of dust out now while I am being gentle with all of the pieces I do want to mention that I am really taking that brush and getting it in all of like the little crevices because almost all of them end up having some kind of dust or grime. And so you do want to make sure to get as many places as you can and the brush is quite gentle so you don't really have to worry too much about you know, doing any damage if you're just getting into the little crevices with the brush. Okay, I'm gonna use this little vacuum cleaner. And I think I like the other attachment better. It's hard to show this part on camera because I need to get pretty close, but using your tweezers and making sure you're looking real close to see, you know, so you know where you're going really makes a great way to get anything that's pretty deep down in there. Like I just grabbed quite a few big pieces and this machine is going to really appreciate us giving it the love and attention that we really should be doing. So I'm just going to finish up kind of getting as much as I can down in this area and then we can finish up kind of just cleaning up the outer side while we're giving it, you know, all of this extra attention. Okay. Now, I could keep going, but for the sake of this video, we'll stop there. I mean, I already got <laughs> this much right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little cotton pad and I'm going to put a little bit of just regular rubbing alcohol on it. Not too much because we don't I don't want to be getting anything wet and mine gets quite grimy around this area. So I'm just very carefully kind of cleaning the outer side and I don't know too much about using rubbing alcohol for anything on the inside but like I said I don't feel comfortable doing that I might I might ask my mom she's a seamstress and see if that would be anything beneficial but I find that this is really all that I need to do to get it nice and clean and um, it doesn't have to be super shiny on the inside at least I don't feel like it does. Um, the last time I cleaned this was probably right before I moved. And so that was three months ago. Honestly, that's not too bad. Um, and that's because I was having some issues with it. And I think it was just because I had a lot of stuff jammed. But if you can do this every 
one to two months, then your machine would love you extra. I know that much. Okay, so this cleaning up the outer edge is just making it look nice. And there is lots of dust and things, you know, in the other areas of our machine rather than just on the inside. So it's just kind of cleaning it all up and then we can start putting our machine back together. Okay, so like this is just looking so nice and fresh. Okay, so the next part that I'm gonna take is put our little bobbin housing piece in and I am cleaning this just lightly with my cotton pad that had the rubbing alcohol, although it's mostly all dried off. So just kind of shining this up to get any more dust off of here. If you had a Q-tip and you wanted to use that, you could definitely get into the little pieces, places much better. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just In. I'm just going to continue by kind of just shining up my the metal piece here and then just placing that back in its spot Oops. there's a little tab on the right side that needs to be placed underneath and then I am definitely going to clean this plastic piece off before putting that down I can even see like in the little crevices there that that got real icky and I actually know that the little door to my bobbin area has been sticking and I could tell that it was some grossness happening okay so actually I'm going to go ahead and put these screws back into this before placing the plastic piece on top so again, you can use that little tool. I'm just gonna use my fingers to get it most of the way in. Okay, I have that most of the way on. So now I'm gonna place this back on. And again, this has little tabs that kind of need to get just right into place. It's really not too hard. I know it can be a little intimidating to take it apart and then I just need to place back on my foot which again there is like a little piece that clips on back there which I'll need to get closer the last little piece that I'm going to clean is the bobbin um, door I'm probably not saying the correct names for these but you know what I'm saying <laughs> okay and then I can go ahead and put my bobbin back in and that's basically all. And then again, I'm just gonna, while I'm at it, finish cleaning off everything that is on the outside. So I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Uh, not like I'm my normal crafty video, but we will be back at it now that we have a nicely functioning sewing machine. And I will see you again soon in the next video, guys. Have a lovely day, bye.